730. Chicago's Morning Answer continues next on AM560, The Answer. Now, from the Signature Bank Studios. This is Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan Proft and Amy Jacobson on AM560, The Answer. Good Monday morning. Amy Jacobson here. John Anthony in for Dan Proft. Always coming on busy days. Yes, I am. So thanks for stopping. And I actually listened to your show on Saturday. Oh. It was really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. It, it was it was a good show. It was um, entertaining and, and sometimes loud. And I had to call Villan out for calling that cop a coward. Uh, the one that um, delayed. Uh, the Buffalo Township, the Buffalo Township, Township officer. Police officer. Who was, who couldn't have his gun in his hands because both hands were on top of the roof. Yeah, so another officer lifted him up and Correct. he peered over the roof. Correct. And then it, the He trained gunman, his weapon on him. Right. He turned his weapon on him and then under pressure, mm-hmm. that's when he fired off that's right. the seven or eight rounds right, that's right away. And unfortunately, one killed firefighter, Corey Cabatori, who they had a procession for him on Friday. Yeah. Which the mainstream media just did a little blurb. Did Trump attend? I know he no, was invited. No, he did not. He yeah. said that he'd attend the funeral. Okay. So this was just a procession through the small town. Okay. Um, so that was that was a beautiful, beautiful yeah. ceremony to honor him. And his daughters were there and his wife. And, and again, I still, what Trump did by taking the fallen firefighter's uniform on stage at the RNC and then actually kissing yeah. his helmet. Yeah. That was beautiful. Well, you know, they tried to make a, a, a thing out of that it was misspelled, but that was actually the way he wore it. He spelled it when he wore it because I guess because of the number of letters that's in his name. They he, they left off an A. They basically said that, how did Trump them miss this? Well, the, that, the, that was his actual, you know, that was his he actually, made that decision. Correct, correct. So I'm glad you brought that yeah. up. Um, but now with this big, you know, announcement, earth shattering news that Joe Biden is stepping down. The Democrats want to badly change the subject of the assassination attempt from Donald Trump to them to regroup and to, you know, recharge the Democratic Party. Um, But there's some questions that still need to be answered. Yeah. Who was behind the hit? What did the media know? Who in Congress knew? What is the FBI covering up? And why was the security so light for a presidential candidate, especially yeah. the Republican nominee, and, knowing and, how many people have a vitriol like, reaction to President yeah. Trump. Yeah. How, how many people, um, I'm sorry, let me cut it turned down. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't hear the feedback anymore now. That's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and in um, case you're watching, I as, as it relates bank, as yes. it relates to that di- that day, mm-hmm. um, when did they put on the schedule Jill Biden? had an event and Kamala had an event, right? Or somebody, there were two other events for the Secret Service to be spread out. When did Trump's uh, event get on the calendar and when did they add the other two additional? Because why, when you know you're stretched in, why stretch yourself even thinner by not having enough people? Well, according to Dan Bongino, there was only three Secret Service members there. That's it, three. Wow. And the rest were Homeland Security because Secret Service now fall, falls underneath Homeland Security. Yeah, right, exactly. It's insane, I'm telling you. With more on this, let's welcome back to the program. Um, Who do I have? Steve (laughs) Bucci. You know, he's our regular on Monday mornings. He served America for three decades as an Army Special Forces officer and top Pentagon official. He's a visiting fellow in the Heritage Foundation's Allison Center for Foreign Policy Studies. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Good morning, Amy. Thank you for having me back again. It's good to be here. Yeah, so anything new on... What you're, what you're hearing on any Secret Service agents, possibly the director losing their job over this assassination attempt? Uh, no, you know, I, we haven't even heard any, you know, words of, of correction in her direction. You know, it, this was a massive screw up. Uh, and I have to tell you, I, I am not a conspiracy theory guy. I've worked in the federal government long enough to always look first to incompetence before I go to conspiracy because it's, it's much more common uh, attribute in, in these kind of complex situations. I'm not trying to give the Secret Service a pass by any means. They screwed it up. Uh, and the, it, there's clearly 
uh, culpability or at least blame due at the director because apparently she made some of the personnel decisions. Why the director's doing that, I don't know. But, uh, you know, directors of big organizations usually don't get involved in what, you know, in the military we think of as, as NCO level decisions dealing with, with personnel. But in this one, you know, there, there's just so many screwy factors. His normal detail pulled off just before this and sent to somebody that somebody in the organization felt was more important or significant than the former president at that point, presumptive candidate for one of the two major parties. Uh, other little things. So I saw one where somebody said, you know, this is the first Trump rally since the, the campaigning season started that CNN ran live the whole time. Right. Gee, wow. that's, that's an interesting tidbit. Uh, you know, it, it, there's, there's all sorts of things here at best and most charitable were really, really stupid and bad decisions. Replacing secret service agents on the detail of a former president with other Homeland Security personnel. Not everybody in Homeland Security, even if they're cops, knows how to do personal detail protection like that, particularly at that level. Uh, not putting somebody on the roof, saying, oh, well, the locals will take care of this stuff. We don't have to worry about that. Look, I've, I've been involved in lots of national security special events, as this one had been designated. That means the Secret Service owns it. They're responsible, and they can ask for anything uh, from anybody else, and they get it. The military, local police, state-level police, for them to say, well, we didn't have enough people, we didn't have the right people, all they had to do was ask, and they'd have gotten them. Uh, you know, dogs, whatever you wanted. And then just common sense. Who some kid walk around an area where there's a president there, former or not, with a ladder and a rifle and, and range finders, and nobody does anything. Well, they proved that he didn't have a ladder. He did purchase a ladder, but he did not bring it to the event because he didn't need it because he just hopped on top okay. of an air conditioning unit and then jumped onto the roof. But we learned over the weekend that this kid, well, he's 20, but he flew a drone over the yeah. area to, to yeah. scope it out. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's really odd. And then to have the FBI announce almost... Oh, there's nothing on social media. We can't, we don't have anything. And then suddenly, because some other people did some research, we're finding all these other accounts, things uh, uh, from overseas, stuff that's kind of sketchy. Okay, if, if you're not done with your investigation, why would you make announcements like that, uh, that there was nothing? Uh, you know, or at least say, look, we haven't found anything yet. We're continuing to look. But that's not what they said. So there's there's at least incompetence here. Uh, if there is somebody who's uh, fiddling around on the edges or doing something else, we need to keep investigating. This is not a done deal. Well, Stephen, you know, they didn't the cops couldn't communicate with Secret Service. There was not a, a radio where they could hear everything that's going on. Why would they allow President Trump to take the stage knowing there's a a possible or potential threat to not just Trump, but anybody that's attending the event. Uh, th there's absolutely no reason. I've seen things at least delayed, if not canceled for right. less than, than what this was. Uh, but they went on with it and, you know, thank goodness the president turned his head at the right moment. Uh, you can attribute that to however you want, depending on your faith or, or your beliefs. Yeah. But, I'll tell you, it was pretty darn miraculous to turn just at that moment when that round went well, by. Well, I, I just the the odds of that are so phenomenal, and that the measurement differences of what could have happened is just you know amazing and and terrifying, frankly. Yeah. Well, the Secret uh, Service, the Secret Service director should have been fired 
the, the next day, the exact. I, what are you she looking for? She forward? shows up at the RNC. Yeah, she was there being chased by senators. <laughs> but what should we be looking for her? And, and what, what should the people who, who, who see the problems look for her to say today? An apology, yeah. uh, at least. You know, saying, look, okay, even if she does some weak, poor leadership kind of thing, like, look, I didn't make the final decision, but ultimately I'm responsible, so it's on me, folks. Then, if she doesn't even have sign, if she said that, I would be happy. But she has not even did any sort of responsibility for this at all. So Secretary Mayorkas who we know has sort of odd judgments since he faced the border has been closed for a couple of years, uh, you know, says, oh, she's doing wonderful. No, of course we've got to keep her. Okay, dude, you used to work for ICE. You know, you, you were involved in law enforcement. How can you say that with any sort of straight face? Apparently, Alejandro doesn't mind lying. So uh, he's uh, hanging with his girl. Uh, it, it's beyond comprehension. Well, the, less than two hours from now, we'll see Kim Cheadle testifying before Congress. So I have a, a, a friend who used to work for the Secret Service, and they have confirmed with me that they've been, Trump's been trying to get additional security for two years. And guess what they said? Because they wanted extra security in New York, and then when he was in mar a Largo, and they said, quote, we don't protect nightclubs. Because a lot of events are held at Mar a Largo. So that was their response. Does that surprise yeah, you? It, it doesn't surprise me given these other things. It, it's amazing that they would be that openly sarcastic to a former president. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, that's his home. It's not a nightclub, it's a big housing area. Correct. Uh, I've driven by it, I've never been on Mar a Lago, but I've been right next to it. I was doing a speaking engagement literally across the street it looks like all the other big giant compounds in that part of florida uh an incredible piece of property it's not a nightclub it has a hotel on the grounds that's different right. than than that sort of thing and that attitude and snark back to a uh, a former president should never be allowed whoever said that should have been fired for disrespect and inappropriate uh, and, and uh, unprofessional behavior. Yeah. Stephen, you know, um, uh, 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 they talked about the snipers being on a slope roof. They didn't want them on there. Well, if you see the picture of the snipers who took them out, aren't they on a slope roof as well? They are. Apparently, I, I, some of the stuff I read said those were actually uh, – Pennsylvania State Police snipers or local guys. They were not Secret Service related. So uh, maybe they have different rules. Maybe they got stickier shoes. I don't know. <laughs> but I got to tell you, that other roof doesn't have much of a slope to it. it. It's way less than, you know, a normal house roof slope that roofers go on all the time, uh, you know, or homeowners go up to clear branches off. Uh, look, the the, C, the Secret Service's snipers don't need a bed to lie on to do their job. They're, you know, they're good quality law enforcement officers. Uh, and to, to diss them by saying, oh, no, no, we couldn't let them up there because it'd be unsafe for them. So what are they, six? They're, you know, they're, they're grown men, grown police officers, or I guess they could be women, too. Uh but they're professional snipers. Yes. Those those people got a lot of training, I'm telling you. They could handle a sloped roof. <laughs> wow. Well, hopefully uh, we'll learn more today, and hopefully Kim Cheetah will just say, you know what? I lied about that roof, because she's lying yeah. about that. We know she yeah. is. Yeah. she just make up anything that sounds good just to keep her job. Well, she'll be on their oath today. Oh, yeah. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Well, that's true. Mayorkas said the border was secure that when he true. was under that's oath. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, uh, Stephen Bucci, thank you so much for joining us. And you can follow him on Twitter at S Bucci, B U C C I. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for making us part of your morning. Thanks for having me. It's always great to be on the show.
and he joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. The more you listen, the more you listen, the more you'll know. This is Chicago's morning answer. Morning answer on AM560. The answer. The doctor's office that mixed up your files has your social security number. The power company that mistakenly cut your service has your payment info and last three addresses. Your info is in endless places that could accidentally expose your info to identity theft. That's why LifeLock monitors millions of data points every second. If your identity's stolen, they'll fix it guaranteed or your money back. Save up to 40% your first year with promo code CLAY at LifeLock.com. Terms apply. Hey, you've heard me say that cell phone service with Pure Talk is half the cost of Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. 20 bucks a month, you get unlimited talk and text, plenty of data, and you think, okay, Hannity, what's the catch? Well, there isn't one. Just 